I welcome you all to the world of plants today. So here I have a kind for you all. What you could see in this plant? You could see leaf, you could see stem, you could see bird, you could see a flower as well, right? Now, if I tell you the fact, today when I thought of picking up a plant for you, I tried to uproot the plant. I went to the garden and I tried to uproot it. I tried my level best, but I just couldn't do it. Then I had to, I have to carry this plant along with the pot for you all. Could you all tell me what is holding it so tight? How, why I couldn't I uproot the plant? So the roots of the plant is holding the soil very tightly, right? And that's the reason I was unable to do, I'm unable to uproot it for you. And then when I thought of watering the plant, when I thought of watering the plant, I poured water in my plant. This water went in the soil. Whereas, now imagine how come my leaf will get water. So, the roots again, it has absorbed the water along with the minerals. And then that water travelled the stem and it reached the leaf, right? So, root has fixed the plant firmly to the soil. Root has absorbed uh, water also from the soil. Now, uh, you won't believe... Uh, this is a very fertile soil and I put some manure also in that. Now, since it is holding the plant, uh, holding the soil so tightly, the root of my plant, this soil will not blow with the gust of the wind, neither it will be washed away with the water because the roots of my plant are holding the soil very tightly. Okay? So, it's a great help for me. Now, when we talk about the root of the plant, uh, when, when uh, you have already studied, uh, when I showed you the seed in the previous module, uh, we had learned that root arise from the radical and shoot arise from the plumule. So when we talk about this is the tap root, uh, this root arises the main root or the primary root, root you could see, it arises from the radical and it grows downward, it grows downward. Here you could see a root cap which protects the tip of the root. From getting injured. This is the growing point of the root, the growing region of the root which gives rise to many cells. Okay. Now you could see primary root or the main root, you could see secondary roots, you could see tertiary roots, you could see the root hairs as well. Now when we talk about the tertiary root, tertiary roots arise from the secondary root whereas secondary root arise from the main root and this main root arise from the radical. Okay, so it has got a very long main root. This kind of root we call it as a tap root. It is finding dicots. When I say dicots, uh, I talk about the plant which grows from a dicot seed. The seed which you could divide completely into two equal halves. I'm sure you are very much aware of the dicot seed. When I talk two equal halves, I'm talking about two seed leaves or the cotyledons, right? This is all about the tap root and this root when we say it's fine, uh, we find it in the dicots, uh, they are very long trees and uh, this root go, has to go quite deep uh, in order to give uh, support to the plant. Alright, and when it comes to fibrous root, I'll show you here also the tap root. Look over here. I have a plant for you, whereas this tiny plant has got a main root, you could see. This is the tap root, whereas you could see other secondary and tertiary roots also arising over here, right? And when we move on to the fibrous root, it seems as if all the roots are arising from the base of the stem, okay? There is no main root over here, there is no primary root over here, the way you could see in this one, okay? It seems that all the roots are of equal length and they seems to be like fibers arising from the base of the stem. All are almost equal and this we call it as a fibrous root. It seems as if we had tied all the thread together over here. Okay, and this type of root you'll find in the grass, in the wheat plant, and uh, this is very shallow, it won't go too deep, and it supports the plant. Now, I'll show you one of the root over here. I have a plant. You could see, this is a fibrous root, where you can see all the strains are rising from the base of the plant okay from the base of the stem all the roots all the strains of these roots are arising from the base if you can see closely try to have a look closely you could find the root hairs as well 
and the same root I have put over here for you in this jar. I'll be showing you here. Uh, this is the root of the fibrous plant where you could see so many root hairs, right? Several root hairs are arising from are, are over here. So these root hairs actually they increase the surface area of the root so that this root could absorb lots and lots of water as well as minerals. This is clear to you all. Now uh, we talked about uh, uh, tap root and then the fibrous root. Now the question arises, when we talk about the functions of the root, uh, root fits the plant to the soil, it absor uh, it, the, another function is absorption, then it, has, it does transportation or soil conservation. Soil conservation means what? It protects the soil from getting eroded. It protects a good soil. Uh, a good soil will not be blown away with the wind, it will not be washed away with the water, it keeps holding the soil firmly, right? The roots of the plant does a great job. Now, when we are talking about the roots of the plant, it is not necessary that all the roots should be under the soil only. At times, most, most, in most of the plants, the roots are under the soil, I agree, but in few plants, it is at aerial, it is the aerial part as well. It is above the soil as well. And at times, root also store food in it. For example, uh, here we talk about root modifications. Here modifications means what? When root does some extra function, some uh, additional functions apart from the fixation, apart from the absorption of the water and minerals and soil conservation, it does some additional functions, then we call it as root modifications. So, over here the root does the work of storage. You might have seen radish and carrot. How does it store food? For, for all of us. Now, when we talk about radish and carrot, there is a, there is a base over here and then there is a swollen part where the, where the foot you could see and then you could see the tapering part. It is somewhat like this, your radish and carrot, right? So, there is a, there's a, base, there's a base of the root, there is a the tip of the root, there is a the swollen part where the food is stored and we all enjoy, we all eat this food. And you could see it gradually tapers down, okay? Gradually it tapers downwards. So this is the case in the radish and carrot as well. It does the work of root storage. But if we look at the beetroot, if we look at this beetroot, what exactly happens here? You could see this is the base of the root, okay? And then here the this is the swollen part which you could see it's almost round in shape, almost round and then it abruptly it uh, tapers. It's not like radish and carrot that gradually the tapering you could see, here it tapers abruptly, suddenly, okay? You could see this over here. So this is the tip of the root, this is the base of the root and this is the swollen part of the root uh, and this is the beet root what we enjoy. So. Here when it comes to storage, you are clear with the radish, carrot, beetroot and all. Here root provides additional support also. When it comes to a banyan tree, the tree is very huge, very huge. So the branches of the tree develop some roots, uh, the little branches of the tree, uh, some roots arise. These roots grow down, grow downwards and it attaches itself to the soil and then it acts like a pillar. So it gives a support to the to this huge tree, right? So this is, we call it as prop roots. So this is all about additional support which is given to the banyan tree. Now, and the same thing is found in maize and sugarcane as well, okay? Uh, now when it comes to roots help in respiration also, how come it is like that? When you see orchids, you know, orchid is a plant, just imagine as if this is orchid, just imagine, and the roots are hanging in air. When the roots are hanging in air, how will these roots get water? How, is, how are they going to absorb water? They are not in soil at all. So, what exactly happens is, uh, you, do you agree with me, there is a lot of moisture in our air? Right, so these roots absorb, take the uh, air, moisture, take the air, uh, take the moisture from the air, okay, and then it survives. These these are found in epiphytes, and these are the roots which we which keep just hanging in the air. This kind of roots you will find 
in orchids and if you ever get to visit Sri Lanka don't miss this orchid garden okay it's really worth seeing now when we come down to mangroves mangroves also have the uh, breathing roots you could say now what are these mangroves mangroves you'll find these are the trees or uh, uh, trees which you find mangrove forest in a coastal area okay you can get it in chennai it is there in the mumbai as well if you get a chance do visit that mangrove forest and what you will see over there is very interesting these trees usually grow in the marshy area what do you mean by the marshy area over here suppose this is the root of the tree it has got a tap root and this tap root it goes deep inside the soil fine since it grows in a marshy area this soil is uh, squishy squashy and uh, water clogged okay you'll find water in most of the most of the time you'll find water over here so there is no air in this soil in fact now what exactly happens from the main root from the primary root there is another lateral root develops and it grows horizontally in the soil then from this root you'll find these structures these conical structures protruding out from the soil coming out from the soil and if you see just one root it has got so many holes or pores in it okay this is in the air this is in the air and then it takes moisture from it takes uh, is breathe it breathe through these pores or holes we call these holes as nematophores okay so this plant breathe through these nematophores these are the holes on the root by which it breathe okay and these roots are also aerial they are not inside the soil okay so it's not necessary that the root should be inside the soil only okay it should be underground at most of the plants the roots are also aerial and they help the plant a lot in breathing fine so these are the nematophores now there is no air in this soil because the entire soil is clogged with water most of the time now how do you prove that soil has air i have something for you today I have a beaker. I filled water in it, and I have soil. This soil has got lot of air inside. Okay, since the soil is loose, a lot of air is trapped in between the soil molecules. Now, when I pour this air, when I put this soil in the beaker, what will happen? Just see, just see closely. You'll find tiny bubbles moving up. Yes, look, look, look. Yes, could you see the air bubbles moving up? yes and you could even see few air bubbles clinging to the soil few air bubbles yeah few air bubbles have cling to the soil they are just attached to the soil so this air which is inside the soil if this air the air is trying to escape the try air when the moment i have put the soil in the water you could even see right now the bubbles are moving up so the air is trying to escape through water and it is moving in the form of bubbles okay so here we prove that soil has air and the plant the roots breathe in this air only from the soil fine whereas when they don't get air over here they protrude out uh, in the form of nematophores and they breathe in the air which is in the uh, they breathe in the air outside now this mangrove garden uh, do visit in mumbai or in chennai wherever uh, you get to go Uh, this is all about the mangroves, and when we talked about the root, one thing more I'll tell you. Uh, I have another specimen for you. This is a parasitic plant. This is cascuta. Cascuta means what? This is a long, slender plant. You could see the plant which has got leaf is the host plant, and there is another vine-like thing which is uh, which which is uh, running up to the which is somehow clinging to the host plant. Okay. so this another plant is cascuta usually the stem is yellow in color it cannot make its own food so it has some root like structures it develops and the, those roots penetrates in the host plant it goes inside the body of the host plant now whatever this plant the host plant which has got leaf whatever water it will take or minerals it will take that food water everything is taken by the by the cascuta okay and ultimately the cascuta will keep growing and growing and it will kill the host plant and finally okay so these are the roots again which are not inside the soil it it is you know we call it as hostoria it penetrates in the host body and drives the nutrition from it now i have another root for you 
you could see there are some bulging structures over here some node like structures in the root okay some dot like thing you could find in the root so these roots are found in the in the leguminous plants in the pea plant or in the groundnut inside this root there is a bacteria known as rhizobium now what is the exact work of that bacteria that bacteria helps the root in fixing the nitrogen from the air it takes the nitrogen from the air fix it in the form of nitrates and then the plant takes it and grows well okay so here both are benefited plant is benefited by the rhizobium rhizobium got shelter over here so the rhizobium is benefited okay they help each other is a mutual benefit uh, they mutually uh, keep on helping each other and uh, you could say that uh, this rhizobium cannot take direct uh, nitrogen from the air i mean the plant cannot absorb nitrogen in the form of nitrogen from the air so it has to get converted into nitrates and that work is done by this bacteria rhizobium fine so again uh, you could say you we have in this module we have talked about uh, uh, functions of the root fixation absorption transportation soil conservation uh, soil conservation means we ha it help our soil from getting eroded we talked about tap root we talked about primer uh, fibrous root then uh, we came down to the root modifications where we talked about storage the additional support the respiration and the additional absorption also so that's all